What's going on guys, Zach here, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. Today, what I'm going to show you guys is how to spice up your menu system in your game. So I'm going to go ahead and run the game here. And here we have just a simple menu. You have play, you have help, you have quit. You can click on these, obviously, to go into the game, the help screen, and so on and so forth. This is very basic. What we're going to do is take this menu and spice it up just by using the same buttons. Um, we're just going to play around with their values. And it can really start to look cool and a lot better than just a play, help, and quit. And th these are the different juicy effects and steps you need to take. And just these little effects will take your game from being just very boring to a very interesting sort of dynamic smooth looking game all right so I went ahead and made this project I have it available for you to download so you can take a look at the scripts and perhaps add on to them if you'd like uh, here we have the room and I'm only using one button for this menu in the creation code here I just create the buttons so here I have btn text equals play help quit I can change these to whatever I'd like it's pretty simple all right. In our button object, I went ahead and set a few things up before the tutorial. And here in our create event, we have our text, just default text. This will be changed when we create the buttons in the creation code of the room. We have our color, our rotation, X scale, Y scale, alpha, index, and facing. You don't have to worry about these, but if you do want to use the system, you're going to have to have them in the game. All right. Then in our draw method, I just draw the sprite out using our values, X scale, Y scale, rotation, color, alpha. And then um, I uh, align our text and draw the text onto the button. So pretty simple. So what can I do to spice up these buttons? Well, I've made uh, some scripts here that we're gonna go over. And uh, again, go ahead and download this and just kind of play around with it. It's really cool to play around with it and see what you can do. So. The first script that we have is going to say menu color change. And here in our arguments, we have our old color and new color. So I'm going to say C white. And our new color is going to be green. And here you can say if text equals play, then we're going to change this. So this does not affect any of the other buttons, the help and quit. So if we go ahead and run the game just by doing that simple one line there, when we hover over it, we have a green button and it doesn't do anything to the rest. Like I said, it doesn't affect it. So if we wanted to put this down here and this down here, we'll say um, purple and orange. So we'll run the game again. And it should change all the buttons to these different colors. So there we go. So right off the bat, just by doing a simple color change that took seconds in the game, We've now had sort of a user response to your menu system and it's a lot cleaner and nicer. All right, so let's let's go more into it. All right, so let's do something like change um, the size of our button. So here we can say menu uh, size change. And here we're putting in our new size. Now the default is one. That's what we're currently at. So if we say 1.2 and our speed will set at 0.1 and we run it. Now when you hover over the button, as you can see, it has a, it has a bigger user response. So it grows, it looks cool. Uh, if we change the size, to, the speed to 0 0.5, and we run the game, it's going to go quicker. That's pretty cool. Uh, if we set it to, let's say, 2, doubling our button size, there you go. That looks pretty cool, but probably wouldn't make it into the game, so we'll say 0. Uh, 1.5 and the cool thing about this system is that these can all be linked into each other So if I wanted to take out color change and just do the size I can do that easily Let's say for example, I ran the game and I only wanted to have uh, The X sort of or the Y Expand so here I just set up the script so you just say X 
and now when you run it, it's just going to expand the x-axis. I think that looks pretty cool. Let's rotate the button. So if we say menu, rotate, change, and our max rotation, let's make it do a 360. And our speed will be 0 0.1. We'll say 0 0.2. And we run the game. So now we have the button rotating. Let's put down the speed a little bit. Let's say 0 0.05. There we go. So now the button rotates, and then if we go off of it, it rotates back. So that looks pretty cool. Let's add in the size change and the rotation. There we go. Nice. Let's add this to the rest of our buttons. And let's change the Y, we'll say 0 0.1.2. Or and then let's change this X. Let's take out the rotation and set this to two. Uh, let's set it to three, just to see what it would look like. So I've actually, I, I developed these scripts and I was just playing around with these for the longest time because it, it was just so cool. So this is probably not something you'd want to have in your game, but it's there's a lot of effects there. And it, can be kind of confusing to the player, but I really do like this play though. Let's have the uh, button rotate, but repeat itself. So we'll do rotation repeat. Our max rotation will say 30. Our speed will be 0 0.3 and our length. A length is how long between steps. So if we say 10 and we run the game, So there we go. So now we have sort of a back and forth. Let's take out the size change here and let's set this to 10. So there we go. And we can speed that up if we'd like. We can cut it in half and say five for the length. And now it's sort of flickering around. So just some very basic methods and scripts. I mean, it wasn't too advanced to create these, but just by doing this, we've now amplified our game's quality. And it's the simplest thing. Let's take out the rotation. And let's change, let's put in the repeat for all of these. And let's make it all green. So it's organized. Oops. So now they should all be the same. Oh, looks like the quick kind of, where is that? 1.5 we put, actually I like the 1.5. Well, let's do 1.5. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. Leave a like, go and subscribe. Let me know what you think download is in the description and just play around with it show me some things maybe send me a screenshot in the comment section uh, yeah i'll see you guys next time peace